Hey, it's Drew Bennett from Ben Spark Family Adventures, and yeah, we're live. We're going to be opening up and playing with and building this set here. This is the uh, Thanos Ultimate Battle. Uh, basically, I've been calling it the Guardian Ship because it's not the Milano anymore. It's this other ship because the Milano got destroyed, unless they rebuilt it. Why it's all more orange than any of the other ones, I don't know. I've actually built the other two ships uh, recently. And so I'm going to build this one, and that is what we're doing. That's what we're doing today. So I'm going to have it all laid out here so that you can see it uh, as soon as I I uh, open this, which I did not do a very good job of pre-prepping a lot of stuff. I did like a bunch of last-minute things uh, before this, like scarfing down some food and, and all that. So let's just take this box and dump it out over here. A lot of bags. A lot of bags. So, I'm hoping that this will be a fairly large ship. More bags. Yep, more bags. Okay, I'm... Yeah, I'd like this to be a fairly large ship. Uh, because the previous... Let's see. The first ship... The first Milano, this one, uh, was pretty big. The one for Guardians of the Galaxy 2 was considerably smaller. See? A lot smaller. And so I'm wondering if this ship is going to fall somewhere in the middle or be any bigger or about the same size. So let's see. So for the next uh, you know, while that I have, I've got nine bags here. So there's going to be a lot of building going on. Let's start with the bag number one, which is nice and small. And nice big book. Bag number five. All right. A lot of crinkling sound. Sorry about that. It really is great. Star Lord's head has just rolled away. Probably far enough that I can grab it with my foot. But maybe. There we go. Come here, Star Lord. Star Lord's in the noggin. Ah, there we go. So, I'll get this one set. My goodness. It's not like I'm on a slant or anything like that either. Okay, so, in here, we've got the Infinity Gauntlet. And that has room for the different Infinity Stones. Now, this is a new piece specific to these Marvel Infinity War sets. They are the little Infinity Stones. And these Infinity Stones, they give you four to a package because, let's face it, these are tiny and they will probably... Uh, get lost uh, often, and so let me just pull one of these off of the skew, screw, sorry, screw, and I believe, according to these Lego sets, the this red one goes right here into the middle, and the red is the reality gem, the Aether, that was from Thor The Dark World. Okay, so that gem goes here. And in all the different sets that they have for Infinity War, there are different gems, so, or stones. You can call them stones, you can call them gems, there's really not much of a difference to me uh, on that. And let's build Star-Lord here. Get his legs. So Star-Lord, I believe in this set, is not going to have his, uh, his mask. He's just simply going to look like that. Okay, so we got Star Lord here, and let's open the book. It's a fairly big book. It looks like not a lot of stickers, which is good because they often mess up the stickers, and I don't want to mess up the stickers too much, especially with this set because honestly, I. I love all the Marvel sets. That's what I go for. That's what I that's what I try to get uh, is all the Marvel stuff. Um, those are the ones that I love to collect, and so that's what I am uh, going to do. So let's start here. We got our part separator, which is always good. And let's see, we're gonna do number one, which apparently there's more than one bag. Number one. 
Because why wouldn't there be? It's the Thanos bag. And did they make it perforated? Yes, they did. Oh, thank goodness. Because those are always a pain in the neck to, you know, take apart if they're not perforated. All right, so we got our pieces of Thanos right there. <clears throat> Brian, my uh, partner on Built from Bricks, he is actually getting a tattoo on his shoulder, this shoulder, uh, of Thanos and uh, Harley Quinn. So Thanos and Harley Quinn on his shoulder. Uh, I actually filmed him live getting getting part of that work done uh, last week. You can see that over on Built from Bricks' channel, which is the channel that I work a lot with, with Brian. Uh, so let's... Let's put together our Thanos. I'll try to turn them around so you can see them. So we're going to put these little little blue ones there. All right, let's just put them in the arm first. Let's put that part in the arm. That way, he's not going to go flying and pop his arms on. So this oversized Hulk-sized uh, figure, although he seems to be taller or bigger than the Hulk, at least from the, the uh, commercials, he may or may not. So we have Thanos and we will just give him regular hands for now. So they haven't included the regular hands. And then he has this big sword. Okay, so he's this, this uh, large sword, which actually you have to build a little bit. So we got all these little blue pieces. Gold piece, little pole, put in there, and then this on the end. And so that makes the sword a little bit bigger, and also something that he can hold in his hand. So it snaps in there quite nicely. So here is Thanos' sword. Put Thanos. There we go. Put him over there for now. And what we're building here is the little, uh, like a, a piece where the Infinity Gauntlet sits. So we've got our pieces here, here, and here. So we're, we're building kind of like a display of the Infinity Gauntlet. And on it, put some of our first stickers. I'll make this little thing here. And I so guess we just throw that one on here. And this. Okay. And it does show in the book where to put the reality gem, the reality stone. Stone gem again. I think I can call them either, it's kind of interchangeable. And we'll put the Infinity Gauntlet here on this thing, uh, which will also get uh, some stickers. So, I'm going to pop the stickers on to this right here. You probably should have done before I put the Infinity Gauntlet on, because it's getting in the way. Let me put it on the stickers. So, this set includes Thanos and Star-Lord, which uh, the two that I've already built. <clears throat> and it also includes Gamora and Iron Man. So we're gonna see in the movie, you know, Iron Man, we've seen in the commercials, the trailers and stuff, uh, Iron Man's interaction with, uh, with uh, Star-Lord, so that's cool. So you can easily take off the hand and put the Infinity Gauntlet on Thanos. And so when you don't, when he's not using it, you just pop it here in the display and put it on his regular hand. Right there. Okay. So that part's built, and now we're going to build some other little thing. Not sure exactly what it is, but I'm going to start building that. Ship. Maybe we're starting part of the ship. 
And I'm not sure if he's going to call it the Milano again. Um, that, I don't know. Because in Guardians of the Galaxy 2, the Milano was destroyed. And that was after it got rebuilt uh, by the folks on Xandar. So, he's had a lot of trouble with that particular ship. And I think, like in the comics too, he calls his ship, Ship. Uh, so it actually has like an AI to it, uh, which we have not seen in the movies. Um, so they're, they're probably not going to go that way in the movies, uh, as far as I know, um, so far. Okay, so we're going to open this thing, and we're going to put one of these little thingies on here. And that's going to get one of these. So this might be something to actually like fly on because we are getting a little handle here. So, handlebars. And on it, we still got to put a few things. What did I not do? No, I did it already. So we got this thing. Pop that on here. A couple of cheese slopes. Little ones here. And, here. and it looks like we got a sword. Whatever this getaway thing is, it's got a sword. And it looks like that'll bring us to bag two. So we've got a lot of extra pieces uh, in here. So we've got some, all these, these little extra pieces. we got Star Wars blasters. Make sure he's got those. And put that over here. And now we'll go on to the next bag. So the next bag is actually going to have Gamora in it. So we can build the Mora. I'm going to put those off to the side there. And find bag two. Alright. Here's bag two. Hello, the one watcher watching the show. If you're in the chat room, say hello and we can we can chat. Uh, are you a fan of Guardians of the Galaxy, the different Marvel movies? What are you most excited to see in the upcoming Infinity War. I just can't wait to see the different characters interact with each other. That's, you know, I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun uh, when they do that because there's just so much that's going to happen in this in this movie. And to see the characters interact with each other is probably going to be the best thing for me. That's going to that's going to be the most exciting thing for me. I mean, obviously the battles and stuff like that. That's going to be exciting, but. Seeing how each character interacts with uh, the other characters, that's going to be pretty exciting too. So, all right. So in here, another couple swords. Wow, we got like three swords in this in this set. So Gamora's got one sword here, another sword. Let's put that other sword on the other side of this little thing here. And now we're going to build. Uh, let's see. Looks like part of the ship. I'm going to put Gamora over, over here. Alright, there we go. And let's get her... Let's get this building. Alright, so... Got Gamora. And... Yeah, we're starting to build the ship. And again, I'm not I'm not calling it the Milano at, at, right now because we didn't see it got, get rebuilt or anything uh, during uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. This one's all orange. It's different. So what ship is it? And does it have a name? Did they call it the Milano again? I don't know. That's something that hopefully... I don't know. I know there's so many different questions to answer in the upcoming movie, but... For me, that's one of the important ones. I don't know why, uh, but it is. So let's put that set here. Put all these pieces here together. A lot of flipping over and flipping over and switching and changing. That one's too big. I need this one. I'm interested to see what's gonna, you know, what sort of features there will be in this ship as compared to the other two. Uh, there's a lot of different cool features in the other ships. So, 
to see what this one has. So only a couple more weeks before the movie comes out, and any speculations? Do you think in this movie, do you think any of the characters are actually going to, uh, are any characters going to die? And if so, you know, who might they be? Speculation uh, there as to, you know, who might, who might die. Um, I watch a lot of different uh, YouTubers. Uh, Emergency Awesome has some incredible stuff about um, the movies. And so, you know, I, I like to watch uh, what he puts up there. Because it doesn't really, you know, I, I watch them after I've watched whatever it is that, you know, I don't want to get spoiled about. Um, because it's very thorough. And he doesn't really put out a, a video as to, like, you know, who might die in, in this movie. And if it, you know, if that'll happen in this movie. Or, you know, it could be, like, something crazy where... A bunch of characters die, and you know, because of the Infinity Gauntlet, there's a lot of things that could happen. Like in this particular set is the Reality Gauntlet. I mean, the Reality Stone. So, do things actually happen, or is it just warping the reality of whoever you, know, you come in contact with when you're using that particular stone? I don't know. So, you know, it's comic book, so. Are things going to be permanent? If they are going to be permanent, you know, that, that's going to be tough. But if they aren't, you know, you, you could do all sorts of things. There's a, there's a lot of things that you that you could do. And obviously there are going to be some, like, you know, permanent, permanent deaths. But there may be, you know, there, there may be some that aren't. I don't know. I don't know. So, building this pretty... Pretty easy. I mean, they're it's Lego. I mean, I, I haven't found anything super difficult in, in, in any Lego set whatsoever. Uh, but you know, it just always uh, impresses me how they come about making the different uh, sets. I've built all three of the Milano or the the Guardian ship up to this point. This is the third one, and each one of them goes completely differently. As to the as the build, so I mean the build is is completely different with every one. I, yeah. So, pardon me. I know, so unprofessional drinking in the in the show. That's right. I was eating pretzels earlier, and uh, I wasn't gonna eat them on camera. Okay. So, no pieces here. My problem when I build. Is I've got to make sure I look at what um, what it's saying, you know, as far as all the pieces. I kind of like look at the image rather than you know what pieces you, you have to have. And sometimes I miss a couple, and I have to go back later and figure it out. Uh, so Building that here. So I should check on my phone if you can hear my, uh, you know, the music because I've got the microphone. I've got a Yeti mic that should be rocking there, and I also have some noise in the background, uh, some you know, music that's from uh, from YouTube. So that should be playing as well. It was too low the last time, so I don't I don't know where it's at uh, this time. Hopefully it's a little bit louder and not too loud where it's blocking me out. Uh, I will find out when I when I check after the <laughs> after the uh, after the live stream. You know this could be completely unusable. I don't know because nobody's in the chat room and nobody will so nobody can tell me. Hey, um, we can't hear a thing you're saying or hey the music is way too loud. So we're having a hard time hearing what you're saying. I know that my microphone's up pretty, plenty high, so you should be able to hear me fine in that way. So, all right, so still building this part of the ship. I 
I've got like half my arm over some parts of the, the book so I can't really see the far ends of it unless I lift my arm up. So now we're going to put together some rounded parts. And the interesting thing about this set is it actually dovetails into this set. So you can, if you have both sets, uh, this is actually uh, a little like escape pod ship from the Guardian ship. So that's pretty cool. I don't think I'll have time to get to build that one today. I'll probably do that on another day and then we'll put those together with this set. I'm going to have these Lego sets all built before the movie so I can, you know, kind of play with them and do some stuff with them too. So, like I said, I sometimes gotta look and make sure that I've got my pieces put together correctly before I put them on. And here, I'm gonna put some side pieces so we're gonna do some sideways building, it's always fun. Um, I could also kind of give you, too, a comparison of the different Gamora figures and Star Wars figures. So, here we've got the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, Gamora. We've got Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And then we've got Infinity War, Gamora. So that's pretty cool. But I'm kind of annoyed is that they don't have Drax or Mantis in any of these sets. So Drax and Mantis, they're going to be in a movie. So, you know, I would think they should be in some of the sets. Why not? Put them in the sets. running something on my, on my uh, phone at the same time here. Playing actually a Marvel game. Uh, you can see it's Marvel Future Fight. And, and just run through, have it set on automatic. All right, so next, let's get the rest of these things on here. I mean, it's not a, it's not a, um, it's not a hard build. I could easily find this build out pretty quickly, but since I'm talking and looking and you know doing that at the same time, it always makes it go by um, a lot. It takes a lot longer. Okay, so it looks like this is an area where people are going to sit. So this could be the front of the ship, I think. Uh, as far as I can tell, this is probably the front of the ship. I wonder if this no it does not. This might be for the other ship. Or it might be for this. Oh no, I think it's for this. Because, see that little part there? It snaps in perfectly fine. I wonder. That could be for that little, um, that little ship there. Okay, so let's put these on here as well. It's like one thing, one thing, one thing. That's why these books are so big. I, mean, I could do a few more things at once. I know it, it makes it more so that you could probably, you know, make a mistake, but at the same time, you could definitely do more pieces on the set as you know at a time or do more more of them. Alright, we got that. more of these purple pieces for accent. You know, we want all that blue purple. Showing it that way. And some more orange. Lots of orange. It's like the total orange ship. And then we're also putting some sideways pieces on the inside. Okay, so we got all that. 
go in there. And looks like we got two more bits of orange here and here. Hey, there was no extra pieces as far as I could see in that particular set. So that's pretty cool. So there's that piece, and now we're going on to bag three. All right, so get bag three going. Bag three pieces. Always check your bags to make sure that all the pieces have gotten out of them. Over to the side of me is like a whole big pile of plastic, plastic bags. So, good. oh, that's certainly not good. <laughs> oh, do I have a, like a station identification break page? Let me just say, I need to go get a paper towel because I've just poured, uh, I dropped my drink and it wasn't quite on tight enough. And so it is uh, all over my floor, which is nicely awful. Let me go grab a pit stop. So working on a live broadcast can be kind of interesting. I am going to now clean up some Diet Coke. Uh. Alright, the only way to get there is really to lay down here. Luckily it hasn't spread too far, but I'd rather it not ruin my floor. Really. This would be the time when people would tune in or tune out. Alright, let's put that. Ooh. Actually, let's wipe that down before we do anything. And secure that. Up. Okay. <clears throat> Move on from there. Squeaky floor now, yay! Uh, watch this explode in my face. Okay, not as nice and tight. Still has, still has Coke on it. I have really thrown myself out of sorts here. <clears throat> I apologize. It's one of those things where you're working live and anything can happen. <laughs> just keep shooting, just keep going. All right, so we have our pieces for Bag number three. We'll get bag number three going now. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's find... Let's find those pieces that we need. Let's see. So it looks like... I'm going to put in some of those little... Uh, what are they called? I wish I knew all the names of the pieces, but I, but I don't. I do not. But it's uh, these things. All right, so you snap another piece into it. And it allows for like a hinge. It could be a hinge. Who knows? And that's going to go on the side uh, here. So 
so that the hinge points down. And that's going to go on either side. It has to give you two, um, two directions, one on each side to, to tell you that, but it's usually mostly ships and things that are pretty symmetrical, so they're going to end up, you know, being the same on both sides. That on here. Okay. And now we got some more building this up a lot more. These little pieces on either side. I'm wondering, I'm really wondering if this is going to be any bigger than the original ship. Or, or not. <clears throat> so now, got these. And each one of these builds is completely different for the ships. That's something that just blows my mind. You know, they could easily make the same thing. Uh, the way it's built and the order in which everything's built is all different too. Uh, going going from, from set to set, which that also blows my mind. Just how these can be created that way. It takes a lot of um, creativity and it's just like incredible to me. So, it's one of those things I really love about Lego is how creative the Lego um, master builders are. You know, just how, how they can do that and, and come up with a, a way in which these are built to work, not only work, but, you know, just be a fun, creative build and not something the same old, same old every time. Especially three ships that are very similar in look. But they are all different. Okay. Got a bunch of these things going on here. So strengthening the build of this using these ones that go with right angles. Connecting them all together, no. Nope. I did that wrong. There we go. Yep, did that right now. And I wonder if there's going to be a lot being added to these pieces here if things are going to be connected to that or not. I would think that they would be since they're using these little ones that have the holes on them. So I think that, that would probably be a, you know, a good thing. You know what I'll do since uh, what the heck I just dropped a soda and ruined that. Let's just do a quick check to see how the sound is on the channel. Because why not? Nobody's watching anyway. <laughs> why not? Okay, so it's got music. It's going all right. I'm fine with it. I hope you guys, will, well, when you do watch, if anybody does watch later, because people do watch later. Uh, if you do watch later, thank you. I uh, appreciate it. Leave me a comment because I do love to do the chats and if you know anybody's here and chatting I guess I just pick the wrong times or I'm just not interesting enough. I don't know. I I find that people do watch the watch the channel watch the shows so I would love it if uh, folks would interact and uh, you know they would uh, leave comments or, or whatever. I'm always open to that, and I'm pretty responsive to whatever comments come in. As long as they're cool, you know, as long as, like, people are, are and I'm, by cool, I mean, don't be a, a jerk about things. Uh, a lot of people are very, very cool, and I like that, I like, you know, talking with different people and, um, you know, comments and all things like that. If you're cool with me, I'll be cool with you. That's, that's pretty much you know, the way it would go. So we're adding some more of these larger slope pieces. 
like kind of, I don't know, to me I would call them like a reverse slope uh, because you're going upwards instead of downwards. Like so you can build up. So we've got a few of these. One, two, three. And these are doing, you know, some more binding to make it stronger. Putting these pieces on here. I'm trying to stay under the under the camera. Sorry about that if I don't. It's one of those one of those things I, I try to do as best I can, but often I end up moving it too far one way or the other because everything's kind of reverse. You know what I mean? So like if I want to come closer to me, it's further from you. And so I don't want to do that. Alright. Got a lot of pieces just building up here. And yeah, I still I, I think it's like the front of the ship, but at the same time. I haven't really got a, a, a full understanding of, of what I'm building here quite yet, which is great. I, I actually like that because I don't quite know right yet, you know, where it's going to be from from here. So All right, we got more pieces to pop in here. So we got one of these funky pieces. I'll call it a grabby piece <clears throat> rather than anything else. So we got a little grabby piece to throw it out on there. And we got all those. Okay, so that is going to be, you know, it's probably like where some wings will go or whatever. There's there's a lot to this one. And I like it. Alright, so now we're going to span this area, which, no, yeah, I'm going to span this part here, why I can't get it on, you got me, there we go, span that, and we're adding some more purple accents, and a bridge, So it's definitely starting to look like a doorway in the ship. Okay. Put some more slopes in here. So this is definitely like the front, that's the back. When I say definitely, I will, we'll find out. <laughs> if I get that right. But I'm pretty sure. Building around here, kind of a box. You can still look in. There's a couple of seats where we're going to have our characters. And <clears throat> more sideways building. Another grabby, a different grabby. Has anyone seen the, the there, there's all different um, trailers but there was a featurette uh, put out the, the other day uh, and that featurette was uh, just about like we called it the, the family aspect of uh, you know all these all these different Marvel movies and, you know for, for years you've had Robert Downey Jr. and Gwyneth Paltrow and John Farrow and they've worked together ever since the first um, Iron Man movie which you know over 10 years now that's that's a long long time to be to be working together and you know these, these folks have, have worked together for that amount of time which is you know that's impressive you know they 
Iron Man was the uh, was the first one, and man, I, I tell you, when I went to I went to the uh, premiere of Thor Ragnarok, so I was I was at the movie theater, and there were all sorts of people there. There was you know, um, there was uh, well specifically there was John Favreau. And when and John Favreau was there, um, I was so close to him that he actually, like you know, went right in front of me to head, head to some some other part where I could have at that moment said, "Hey, John, I really love all your work, and you know, thank you for kicking all this off with Iron Man. It, it was one of my favorite movies ever, and you know, I'm just so impressed with it. I, it, I just you know wanted to thank him for it." But I didn't say anything because I don't like to bother people, <laughs> and I just get, you know, worried that, I, that I'm that I'm gonna, you know, bug somebody, um, and I don't know, I, I, I should have done, it. and that's one of those, you know, shoulda woulda coulda moments because I'm I wasn't, you know, no way being like a, a, a jerk or anything. I just say hey, I I really like the work that you've done. And uh, you know, I want to thank you for that. And, and I definitely should have said something. And uh, it's one of those, one of those moments where you really should, if you get the chance, you know, just just do it. Uh, I wasn't gonna, you know, take up a lot of his time or anything like that. Everybody was there to see Thor Ragnarok, and everybody was pretty excited. We had just finished seeing it, and it was awesome. So, you know, why not comment on on it? Um, so, if I ever get the chance again, I will definitely tell him, you know, how much uh, the movies that he's made have, uh, you know, made an impact on me. So. Okay, so now we see where those uh, little hinges, and what's going to happen with these little hinges now. They are right here. And I attached that incorrectly. I need to attach that differently. And I need to attach another piece, a little grill here. So, so you got this piece, and that's going to attach to that hinge. I'm going to snap that in here. Okay, it doesn't really move a lot, but. I'm going to build one of those. Um, we're going to eventually build the other one. Um, okay, it's again doing one side, then the other side. So yes, we are building a second one. Which I could have done right there, but I didn't. Where is the little piece of the hinge? Hmm. Is. I don't know where it would have gone. I have another grill. So, here is my other hinge piece. Ah. Then it got spilled, it got spilled way over there. And on this one, we want it to go this way. Okay? So, we're going to attach it over here. And now we're gonna make some little little pieces that go uh, on either of the little sides here. You know, I haven't consulted the box at all to see what any of this is gonna look like uh, at the end. I kind of looked at it quick. I didn't look at it closely enough or anything like that. Hey, there's two viewers. How are you guys doing? Somebody say something in the, the comments. I would love that uh, so we could uh, chat about stuff and now I will kind of like look up a little bit more <laughs> uh, it's always one of my problems is I get building and I don't uh, look up and I don't get you know as animated as I should uh, I was talking recently just a moment ago I don't know when you guys showed up uh, or who's in the in the chat room but I would you know feel free to chat let's talk about stuff uh, looks like I might have missed a piece there how did I do that and that went is not gonna come off. Nope. 
Alright. One of those pieces that I missed putting in on both sides. Slide that back in here. Well, acknowledging that there are people who are watching uh, has made them leave. So, sorry. <laughs> Uh, again, I love to I love to chat, talk with anybody who's in the uh, chat room there as I'm building and fixing one of my mistakes. That's one of those things where I'm watching, but then not watching, and kind of let something happen, and I didn't do it correctly. But pop those pieces all back in, and that should be fine. I think I got it all. All right, cool. Let's say I did. So we're going back on the, the back part here. I think, yeah, this is the back. Move that overload. I'm gonna put like these plates, these two by three plates, and some more. Just there's so many different spots where things are connecting, and you know, later on that's going to be a payoff where we're going to have things connect here, 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 all just, you know, wings or whatever. It's all going to be uh, attached to this to this body of the, uh, of the ship. So let's turn it back around this way. And we'll put all these ones on correctly, hopefully. We'll see. I might, I might not. I might screw it all up. Four. Where are you? Where is the fourth one? I did have a mishap like earlier, so I I don't think I I didn't move or lose anything. Ah, could it be it. It's on the bottom. Somehow got stuck there. See, the problem is, I don't have me to help me. Because when I do stuff with built from bricks, I'm generally the one who lays out all of the bricks so that it's easier to build. When I'm the one doing all the building, uh, that makes it a little bit more difficult. Uh, I can't really do that. So, <clears throat> I need me to help me. Sometimes I just think that they're right there, and then they're, and I find them not. All pieces. Put those all in here. And that is on to the next page. And here we're going to use some more rounded surfaces. Here and here. Make that nice and smooth. Like that. And yes, like I said, some of these little spots on the sides that have uh, little studs like these ones, they're going to pay off later by making a piece that, by putting a piece on that goes on here. Okay, so on this side, we've got a piece on each side. Also doing that with like an exhaust piece or um, a sloped grill, which works well for exhaust. So that's a nice, nice way of making that, giving it some detail. And Lego is all about the detail. How awesome the detail is. Thanks. All right, so we are building probably a. Um, See, probably a plank or you know uh, a plank like a gang plank or loading what, do you, what would you call this I know what it would be called I just don't it's not coming to my head um, which 
now, all right, so now we have this part here, keeping that separate from whatever's being built over here, which I thought was the front of the ship, and I got that wrong. I, th I think. I'm not sure. You know what? I am really not sure at this point. And let's put on a couple other things here. We got let's see. We have these things. Okay. And they have stickers on them. to these things. Whether or not they're going to go up and down, I'm not sure. But they snap. They snap to that. So that would look like that. Hmm. Is this one far enough? I think so. Maybe they go up? I don't know. We'll see what they uh, actually do later. And now I'm going to add a couple of lights or a little little yellow pieces in there and there was only a couple of extra pieces not many not many piece, extra pieces at that point okay so here we go that's what we've got built so far and now we're moving on to the front of the ship which if I look at it right which I still don't have it down correctly I still yeah. No? All right, this is the rear, that's the front. Interesting. Okay, box number, bag number four. Five. Four. Let's see if I can keep everything together this time. Okay, bag four. That's gonna have the cockpit of the ship. The windshield there that Thor slams into when they find him floating in space. Probably after his ship gets destroyed and he's met up with Thanos at the beginning there. That's, I mean, you can kind of piece that together. So, um, from from what you've seen in the, in the trailer, I'm not giving anything away. Uh, I haven't seen the movie, so obviously I'm not giving anything away. Um, I do like their campaign where it says, uh, you know, Thanos demands your silence. Uh, so that's uh, that's an interesting campaign that they have there, uh, trying to keep you know people from spoiling the movie for anybody else. And, and I, I appreciate that because I work on off hours, so uh, a lot of times I don't get to see the movie um, on opening night. Although I have started going um, opening opening morning. Uh, so I end up going to see it as soon as I can uh, on Friday morning. Because I normally will film Built from Bricks with my buddy Brian on Thursdays at 6 p.m. on uh, the YouTube channel for Built from Bricks. Um, so I don't get a chance to go to the movie on Thursday night. Uh, so I go Friday morning. And I will be doing that on the morning of the 27th. I will be seeing... Infinity War. Can't wait to see it. I'll probably see it like two or three times. Uh, I'll go with myself. I'll go with my wife. Uh, kids are not old enough yet to see it in the theater. Uh, just too loud for them. And, and uh, you know, you the things that you see in, in the comfort of your own home are, um, you know, usually you have a little bit more control over the volume and, and things like that. So that. Uh, that's something we try to do more, more so with the kids, uh, is, is at home, uh, watch, watch these movies. And they've actually started to get into the Marvel movies. So, uh, my daughter watched Thor Ragnarok with me on a, on a plane ride home from Disney, and then, um, she loved it, loved it. And so, 
we figured we'd show her Guardians of the Galaxy. She also liked that. And there's a sticker I need to put on here. So let's put the sticker on before I get too far, far along. This looks like something on the front of the ship, because this looks like... And I uh, probably should be showing you that. Uh, this looks like something, like I said, front of the ship sort of thing. Almost like a viewport or something like that. Alright, let's spin it around and start putting on a few other things because we are going to be building sideways, of course. Lots of sideways building on these uh, ships, which is always very fun because what, what they put together in them is, is just incredible. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm very impressed with everything that I, I built from LEGO, with LEGO. Uh, just a lot of fun. Okay, so it looks like we're up to that point here. And now do the back half. <clears throat> and all the way around, there's things that will probably be built onto this. So, you know, you can see it starts all the way around it, all the way around to go top. I'm going to flip this over. We have two of those here. I'm going to put two of them over here as well. So, filling in those gaps that were left from the other, the other pieces and just kind of a little bit of color. Here, I'm going to flip it back over, spin it around again. Here we got these pieces, which will then add this piece so that we're making it all smooth here. And add some other things on either side. Kind of like side of there, the little round pieces. And then from there. So all these little studs that are out there, you got plenty of spaces for sideways building. And again, I don't know where this is going or how this is getting attached. And what part this is going to be. A lot of different different stuff to this. All right, so here two of these things. It's nice. Uh, it's like a, a slate blue. It's a nice a nice blue color on these uh, in this set. It's a color that I don't see very often in the different sets. And it's a nice one, I think. So just like small, small accents of that. Whereas you know previous, um, you know versions of this of this ship have been like a bright blue and a yellow, or a bright blue and a um, an orange. This is uh, different. Uh, this is an orange and a, a more of a light or uh, slate gray uh, look to it. So here we're building this thing out. Now we're putting more pieces on here and here. And now we get like a little round piece going up the front. Build something else. Not quite sure what what's going to be built out until, and I, and I like that. You know, I like being surprised as oh, this goes here, and, and and then when it all comes together, you know, you have a better understanding of what it is, and you can, uh, you know, really appreciate the the work that went into you know, coming up with, with how this thing gets put together. So this actually is probably. Probably has something to do with the, uh, 
Yeah, it looks like the perfect size for this. And we gotta make it stronger, you know, because you can't just have it like that. It's actually fairly weak. So we want that to, to be stronger. We'll put these on here and also these. So not only does it get stronger, but then it also smooths it out, looking more like a spaceship. Little, you know, half. I call them, I don't know. Brian likes to call them pizza slices. So these like little half ones that look very much like a pizza slice. And we'll put in some. We'll go purple. There's a lot of purple in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Uh, for example, the. Reality stone, or not the reality stone, uh, the power, the power stone, or the power gem that they had in, in the first uh, Guardians movie, that was purple. So there's a little purple theme to it, and there we go. And that is the the ships, and that's actually very much the same as the hatch on this one. It's the same piece. And also the same same design, but this is a more rounded look to it than it is uh, than the other. So we got a rounded one here, and then we got this, and let's put it around. Okay, and then we go right from here to snapping it on to here. So you can see this part. Here, we snap it right on there. So here we go. Wow. All right. So that's moved along. That's like that's nice. And let's continue continue onward with what we're what else we're building. I really I didn't see it coming out that way. You know, being 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 that particular um, direction. So. I like being surprised. I don't like, you know, knowing everything about how it's gonna look or how, how, it, how it's gonna play out. I like being a bit surprised time to time. Especially when, you know, cause it's, I mean, you're following directions, but at the same time, you know, you want a little bit of, of, of surprise as to, as to what you're building. I don't like the surprise that I can't find a piece, not knowing where that individual piece is. Hmm. There's not many pieces there, so it could, it's not like it could be gone. Alright, well, I'm just going to build along and see what I can find. Hopefully find that piece before I actually attach this to anything. And that's not it. Ah, I thought it was. Oh well. Did it get stuck to the bottom again? I got things that stuck to the bottom last, like when I built something last. So, nope, nope, nope. It's not on here. Alright, well, I don't have it. Yes, I do. <sighs> Wasn't paying attention. Stuck an orange one on there instead of a blue one. Because that's the way I uh, sometimes roll. Another time for another sticker. I think I'm gonna move me over here because 
It seems to me that... Yeah. I keep putting things right below me. And then here is where I'm building, so that's where you should probably be able to see. Good that I figured that out an hour in. I swear. I'm sometimes, I actually probably make myself uh, even smaller. An even smaller part of the video. There you go. Now you can see more of the build. Okay? And we're on step 102. Popping on these bits here. And here's where we're going to attach it. Oh, oh, okay. It just gets attached with that one. So it's just two studs in the back. So you can easily take this out, and then you can add, you know, add guys in. And this can be flapped up or down. I want. Oh, I want to just put those out straight. Because then you can't read. Then you can reach this part. If you have a flap down, then there you can't get at them at all. Which the next step tells you to flap them down. Okay. So there we go. Get them all in there. This is snapped on correctly. Yep. Let's put you here. And now we're building probably a wing. These ships have many, many wings to them. <clears throat> Figure it out that that's the way it's going to be. And put both those wings on at the same time, and that will finish off. That'll finish off the um, bag five, bag four. Okay, so looking at this, we got this one. That's interesting, because those, it's not really a, I wouldn't think that this particular one's going to fit in here, but it does. Why they would use that one, I'm not sure. So, okay, so now we've added that, and it's time for another bag. After I go through the same thing the opposite way, all right, I want you to flip them back this way. Flipping them back this way. That's our extra pieces. Now we are on bag five. There are actually two, two bag fives. Put you over here. One bag five. I missed that. A little bag. Okay. So starting off here, we are building uh, the wings uh, out the back of the, the ship.
we've got a little gravity piece and one of these cylinders, larger, fatter cylinders. There you go, gravity piece, large fat cylinder. And that will fit together on here. pieces. Add those on. And you've got an orange piece coming down along the side here. There's a couple of black pieces holding it together. Or one. And we're going over it with orange. All the way across. More orange pieces. This ship is quite orange. And some gray. So I I looked at it quick as to what it's gonna be and how it's gonna how it's gonna look. Still, can't tell ya. Don't know, but it does look like they're using that same technique from the other um, the other ships where you got this little gravity piece on a stud in two places where we're gonna have a post go across there that'll hold something uh, in place. So it'll hold another another bit of a wing in place. So yeah, here we go. We got. This, which snap it in here, and that'll be a piece for later. So we're going to spin it around this way. And I'm going to put that other part of it together. Okay. So we've got a big green piece here. So this, this wing is actually going to be thicker than you'd expect because it's got all the inside of the wing happening here. So that's how we're, how we're doing it on that. <coughs> and then, got one of these pieces, a bit longer which is actually going out further than the other. And we're going to put on and alternate between black and white uh, pieces so that when we attach whatever we're going to attach to it, it's going to be the opposite of that, as far as I can tell. Switching over to another another piece. No, it's going to overhang. So it's going to overhang, and it's going to attach to this. So it's going to look like that. And then that's going to attach to this. Going to attach. And there's one, two, one, two, three there. So this is a, this actually the wing will come out and then it'll turn a bit uh, there. So spin this back around, and we need to make another piece to 
add to the side there. So coming up, there's going to be um, this thing called the Infinity War event. Uh, it's one of the uh, Disney press trips that happen. Uh, I've been on a few. I'm not going on this one. But uh, I've been on a few of them, and they're always a lot of fun. And what happens is the people who go on them are going to interview people from the cast and uh, possibly even uh, the Russo brothers, possibly. I'm not sure. I don't know the whole itinerary for these guys. But it's usually a, a, a very cool event where you get to learn a lot about the movie, and then they get to report on all the things that they saw, you know, leading up to leading up to the movie. So on the day of the movie, they'll they'll put out their spoiler spoiler free uh, review, you know, because they don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen it yet. But you want people to go see it, and then uh, like later on, they can you know go back and, and put up a another review if they want. Um, but at the beginning, you know, when they first when they're first doing this. They'll go and they'll, uh, they'll they'll put out you know their review of uh, what they think of the movie, and then also they get a lot of really cool insight from the people who work on the movie. So they'll get to actors, actresses, and I have no idea who they're gonna um, you know get to meet in on on this movie. But uh, I would I would think uh, you know it's probably a good bet that you're, you're gonna see plenty of Avengers uh, interviews. Uh, you know, because that, that all happens. It's crazy how, how that happens. I, I've been to a, a couple of these uh, now, um, and they have these, these 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 press junkets. And what happens is the actors and actresses and directors and, and everybody else working on the movie, they, um, they're basically there like all day answering questions from multiple news outlets. And so... Uh, a lot of times they're at, you know they're answering a lot of a lot of the same questions over and over and over again, um, but what we try to do it when um, you know there's a group of bloggers there, you know ask them some different questions and, and they really have a lot of fun when when they uh, when they chat with with, with us um, because you know we come up with with, with different uh, approaches because uh, you know a lot of our, our fans and um, you know we really are invested in the movie. As to you know what's gonna what's gonna happen to the different different characters, uh, things like that. So, interesting, going on off to the side there. And another one of these. That's all attached. This is a crazy looking piece of the wing. So now we've got that. We're we're basically filling in all these different little parts with uh, with orange. You know, a lot more, lot a lot of orange happening uh, here. To make to make this way and grills and then some more smoothing spots rounding it out and we have a, a sticker another sticker so yeah I was um, at that the, the Thor Ragnarok premiere as I said earlier earlier in this uh, in this show um, and I was there that, that night when, when Mark Ruffalo <laughs> left Instagram on in his, in his pocket. Um, he wasn't quite sure how, how it worked. I guess somebody had showed him like right before he got there. Um, he was supposed to like you know Instagram live the, the event. Um, but when the movie started, uh, he was still Instagramming accidentally. Um, so they, you know, they always joke about uh, Mark Ruffalo and uh, Tom Holland, uh, you know, kind of giving away spoilers and stuff like that because you know, different different ways in which they accidentally do that, or you know, you know, Tom just blurts things out because he's he's all excited, um, and Mark, why is this this isn't the right one? It's not Mark right. Uh, Alright. Just gotta pay attention. It says it's sticker number one. But sticker number one is off. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. I got the right sticker. 
Sorry, I'm on my sticker. You can see my stickering skills. Oh. And that was terrible. Terrible. Let's try to redo that. Oh, good, I spent it. Awesome. these things can easily be pulled off and stuck back again. I'm not sure. There we go. Put the sticker on. Pull these together. Secure it with another piece. Now we're going to go on the bottom. And get some grabbies. More grabbies. A little white piece for um, sideways building. A little piece here. Take a look at that. And then secure it all with all these. Keeping everything secure, that's important. Flip that over. This is the reason that these are sideways, is so that we have some lights. There, like that, and that is what's going to attach here to the post. So just make sure. Yep. So, ah. Too far. So now, out to the side, we've got our last piece. And that will be secured like this. And that will attach over here. So now we have that. But that's probably not the last bit of it, because there's probably, yep, a gray one too. And the gray one, probably do this according to the instructions. Why not? We'll attach that one like that. Add a little smoothing part, just more detail, and then it more, but it's also adding detail. And also another one of those pieces. Add that here. My goodness, I'm doing such a great job of that. There we go. So now these can go up and down. On the underside, underside, like this, and out here, I can put them on right, and that's going to attach to one of these, which is here, which also adds more stability again, add that in, and now we're going to attach it to the side of the ship. one part of the ship okay so we got that and uh, let's now put the other let's get the other wing together and 
let's put the other wing together. Now the other wing is also going to give us... We're, we're going to get Iron Man with that. Yes, Iron Man is in this set. Which is cool. So, a couple of bag sixes. Now we're building the same thing, just the opposite, opposite way. Before we do that, we got Iron Man, and it's got all these little like blast pieces here. And what do they call these? Well, that calls me dropping the dropping the camera. Great job, great job. One second. We call them power bursts. See, I don't have this on a... Well, I have it on a tripod. But it is not the most secure thing. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's get that there. And let's just... Okay. So, I'm going to move this over to the side. So that you can see more of the building. I apologize for making that drop. Why it did, but it did. Alright, so all these different power burst pieces. So they're all from, you know, Iron Man blasting with his repulsor rays. Or repulsor beams. And Iron Man's helmet. I do like the Iron Man helmet. It's always been a, a cool feature. Having the ability to flip up the Iron Man face mask to reveal the character underneath. So, let's put Tony Stark together. Oh, okay. Let's, let's give him the blue face where he's like talking to Jarvis. Actually, he's not talking to Jarvis anymore because Jarvis became Vision. And that. So, but before... I attach that, there's this whole new uh, apparatus to attach to Iron Man because his suit has a whole bunch of different uh, features. So we got this apparatus here attached to his back, which is basically the same thing that gets attached to um, Peter Parker for the Iron Spider. So his Iron Spider uh, armor there, which was built by Tony Stark. So we got, let's put, uh, let's put Tony over here. And then we're going to build the pieces, the extra pieces to his armor. This is like, there's these new pieces to his armor. And in no way he's going to stand up with this. It's, that's just too much. But we got all these maroon pieces with Tony's armor. And we're going to put together. Four things like this, and they're all going to attach to his back. <clears throat> oh. oh, and then you can attach even you can attach these pieces to him too. So it looks like you know he's blasting off and stuff, and they all get the stickers. It's like almost like an you know, it's like this big extra power boost from this new armor. I forget what mark number it is. You know, they all have like mark this, mark that. Uh, I don't recall what the mark number for this one is. Forty-seven, forty-eight. I don't know if we're up to fifty yet or not. Could be fifty. No, you know what? It is. It's mark fifty. This is the Mark 50. Kind of an even, even number. 
which makes me kind of worried for Tony. Only because, okay, so it, it's it's easily a, a nice even number. That could mean, you know, Mark 50, is, that's what he's going to go out on. And, you know, could Tony Stark die in this one? Is Iron Man going to die? Because, you know, in the comics, he, right now, or maybe last year, I'm not far, sure how far back I am in the comics, he is, uh, he's an AI. Um, you know, there's, he's like Friday and Jarvis, but there's a Tony Stark AI. So either he's like, you know, put himself into the cloud, um, because he, he works with um, Riri, Riri Williams, who is Ironheart, uh, works with her as her AI, of her suit. I like that dynamic, those those two together. You know, it's passing the torch, but at the same time, you still still get involved in uh, what's happening. There, with this, this character. And I like the character, really, really, really. She's good. Cool. Alright, so we're going to touch another one of these. No. Oh. Okay, it only has two of those big ones. I guess we're going to put the little ones in there, too. I don't know how they expect them. There's, there's no way this, this is going to stand up. Alright. Do the last one. It's kind of a little bit tedious putting this one together. Four, four pieces exactly the same. Then I'm going to head back into a wing that's exactly the same as the other one, but whatever. And one more sticker. Hey, we're almost down to the last sticker. Yay. I'm not a big fan of putting on stickers. Not terribly hard, it's just... Mm. Alright, here we go. We got Iron Man as Mark 50 armor. what it looks like in the back, so we can kind of, how far, man, we can't really close it up too much there, but more so that, you know, he gets like this extra boost from flight, um, that's going to be cool to see in the, in the movie, definitely, but it makes it really hard for him to stand up at all right now, so we're going to put him over here. And then we'll move on to whatever's next. Oh, sorry. He also has... Oh, boy. He's going to be covered in these things. So, in addition to, you know, adding those power blasts on the side, you know, we've got one on his hand. Uh, we've got... Let's see. We need one of these things. Which is uh, so that... Uh, so that a minifig can, can't hold something. So we're going to attach this to this. So one of these. Nope. One of these first. Nope. Yep. And then like that. And then add that. Or you can make a second one that has... All sorts of these things. So you can create a second one. Where's another? There we go. It has like a smaller blast. No, nope. that's because this one was reverse of the other one. So there, now, we got these two different power blasts that can be attached to Iron Man's hand. And you can also fire this thing off. Wow, he's got a lot of power blast uh, abilities. So all this extra stuff, 
Power Blast for Iron Man. All right, let's get into actually building the remaining part of this set. Uh, I have just enough time to finish this and head out the door because um, my kids gotta go go pick them up, well, pick up my son from school and see my daughter do a living wax museum tonight. We have living wax museums that the kids are doing these days. Never got to do that when I was a kid. It's really cool. Um, you basically, all all the kids uh, they they dress up as different different people. She's gonna be Sonia Sotomayor, and they're gonna dress up, and they have this um, I guess a buzzer or a bell or something like that, or a light, and people push it, and the they come to life as that as that person. Is this the right one? It is the right one. Seems to be smaller than the other one. I don't know why, but it is not. So I'm gonna be a little bit probably faster building right now, and I keep shaking this camera. I gotta figure out the best way to put the computer down with the camera because there's a camera on the computer uh, as opposed to how that would be, you know, somewhere else. So if I gotta like set that somewhere else, and uh, my microphone, which I don't know if I've been banging it, but I, I actually finally got the, the mic screen on. You can actually see it right there. Um, but it doesn't tilt anymore like it used to. And I, I want to get that to come in overhead so that you can you can hear it better. So many things that I want to do to make a better live stream for anybody who wants to watch. If you have the desire to watch anything that I create, I would love it. Um, I, I love getting a chance to, to go up to, to create and you know I, I want to talk to people and, and learn from them and you know just uh, have some have some fun so building this I'm building this a little bit faster uh, because again I don't have that much time I spent a lot of time kind of goofing around Dropping soda, cleaning it up. That was a little mishap from earlier. Anybody who was here earlier, so that was that was a bit of a mishap. But because this is the same, you know, as the other one, I'm gonna go by a little bit quicker. I know what I'm looking for. I know what to put together on it. stumble and fumble with it. Oh, it's going by quicker. Mm -hmm. Sure. You tell yourself that. It's interesting how they use the, the different ones, uh, the, the, the different types of connectors here and how they, how they put these all together. I mean, because they could do it all one way or, or all another way, but they just make it interesting. I like that they I like that they do that. <clears throat> see. Four. There's been one person watching, and I would, you know, if they, if they are interested, I'd love to chat. Let me know who you are, and, you know, why, uh, how you found me, and, and all that. Uh, that would be, you know, I'd, I'd appreciate that. Okay, so there's that piece. Now... So 
a lot of a lot of parts just make this a you know a more rigid wing uh, with more you know just a lot more going on with it. Um, and of course we have blaster on to the side. One of these little slate blue accents. That's what color I'm going to call it. I know Brian's going to call it something else. It's probably wrong. But if he watches this, he'll probably point out that I've got the wrong color. If he watches it all the way to the end, I don't know if he's got it. Um, but if he does, tell me what I did incorrectly. Alright. There's that. Moving along. together uh, but we're also putting in a nice piece there and that's it we also have a rounded piece goes like that And all right, starting to kind of wind down. I'm sorry about that. I'm working on it, working on it, working on getting uh, second wind or more interesting. We'll get this piece. This is our last sticker going on. And should I do this sticker right like I did with the other one? Here we go. Good. Got that sticker on. Flip it over, and now we've got a whole bunch of pieces to add to it. And this is what's going to attach to that post that is on the side of the wing. One of those with a kind of one of those flaps that, that come down. Another uh, it's a consistent part of all of the different um, ships for the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, is that is that part there. So. Gonna add some lights with these yellow parts here. Put that in, and now we're ready to snap this off. Snap that on. Okay. All right. Last couple bits of the wings. with the different connectors. Attach that to one of these orange wings. And then just attach it to this end. We got that. Then we got the other side. Details in this, that, one of these, a couple of these little blue gray pieces or sleek blue or whatever color they actually are. I don't know. And add that here. Okay. So there's that. Flip it over again. this piece in and then we got two of these add those in put those on here okay 
flip it back over. Let's get our ship. So this is actually, I'm actually gonna make this, this one of me bigger because I'm done building. All right, so hold on one sec. Hey, all right. So we've got our ship. We're gonna put the we're gonna put the other wing on, attach it there. And there we go. We've got it all attached. And you can see here what I did think, you know, what, what I thought about this before is that this goes in here, which it does. Okay? And that is going to be something that you can easily scoot out and you can put you know you can put Star Lord it's big enough where you can put Star Lord on here and then Gamora behind on here probably not big enough for that sword but got her other swords snap that in and there you go you got your character here you pull them right out there and then around the back on the back here so this this part here this is where we can have the infinity gauntlet the infinity gauntlet right inside fits right inside and we'll close that up now we also have little blasters here and here right one here and one here just two of them little stud shooters okay so we got the two stud sh two shooters right there and there and then uh, that is the whole ship built and you, that just shows you blast them and then what what's interesting is that this part back here you can actually attach uh, set number 76102 all right that actually attaches to the back of this ship so that rounds out the ship now, I was speculating as to where this is going to fall as far as the um, size uh, between the first Milano. So from the first Guardians of the Galaxy, we got this Milano, which I love. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. You got all these spots here. Oh, yes. One more Gamora Swords, and I think I have Drax's knives in there, too. Um, but that, that's how this one comes apart, so you can play with that. So we've got that one. Um, and that also has stud shooters on the sides here, but I'm pretty sure I've blasted those studs off, so, you know, don't have them. And it's got that, that look there. Um, and all the, all the different parts of these, these wings that move around. And I, I mean, I really like that. And then also on the bottom, you've got, you know, that, so that the vertical takeoff and all that stuff. And this one sits really, really nicely. Then you have... The Milano from Guardians of the Galaxy 2, which is a lot smaller. Which is funny because when the end of in the end of Guardians of the Galaxy, it looked like their ship was actually much bigger than it was. This is a very small looking ship, um, much much smaller than uh, I expected it would have been. Uh, definitely much smaller than it than it is in the movie. Uh, but that's and then then you have this one. So for size comparison take these two together they're approximately you know they're very similar I mean this one has the, the wider wings but then most of the, everything is like right here in the middle oh there's one of Drax's uh, knives uh, this has some more weapons to it and as you know a few other things you got you know you got this window in the back here uh, some other things there. Let's see. I think No, it's not this one. It's the other one, but you got all this stuff That moves and flips and flaps there It's a more complex Vehicle than this one, but this is really cool. Um, I, I like it now I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how we're gonna attach the other ship uh, From that other set to this one and that'll be that'll be cool um, and then the other Milano, this one, I mean, it's basically, you know, everybody's just cramped right in here into the, into the cockpit. 
and it does have all of those, you know, the different wings on the side. Just crazy the aerodynamics. You know, are they actually? Is it, is it actually an aerodynamic, uh, you know, ship? Are these things helping on the sides, on the wings and stuff? Is that is that really helping? I don't know. Um, I'm I'm not a uh, physicist, so. But that is the one from. It says Thanos Ultimate Battle, but you know you only got Thanos right here, and you know it's got it's got the Infinity Gauntlet, it's got uh, it's got Iron Man, so that's per, that's pretty cool. So you got Iron Man, you've got Thanos. So let's, let's just pop Iron Man over here. You got Thanos over here. Well, why not get on top of that ship? There we go. So we got Thanos, we got Iron Man, we got Gamora, and we've got Star Lord. And that is the new ship for the Guardians of the Galaxy and Thanos. So this is how you get Thanos for the Infinity War ones. But that's it. That's, uh, I appreciate, uh, you know, that one viewer here who's been sticking around. I appreciate that very much. Uh, this is Drew Bennett from Ben Spark Family Adventures. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter as Ben Spark at facebook.com slash Ben Spark Family Adventures. And you can find us here making videos as often as we can. Thanks for watching.